Hello everyone, welcome to Websense Pro, welcome to another video and in this video I'll show you guys how you can hide specific payment method based on condition. So the example of this would be like if you are trying to sell CBD products, so you have some CBD products on your store and you do not want to uh, display PayPal on if someone add those product to the card. You don't have that functionality built in into Shopify store and for that you'll have to add an extra app and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that and not just that enabling or disabling the payment gateways. You can rename those, you can sort them and there are multiple conditions which you can add based on card quantity, based on product price, based on the location of the customer adding uh, product to the card. So there are multiple conditions which you can add to enable, disable, hide, rename or sort payment gateways on your checkout. So in Shopify, you are unable to customize checkout because of the restrictions which Shopify has. But with the help of this app, you'll be able to do this customization by uh, for enabling, disabling, sorting and renaming the payment gateways the payment methods on your Shopify store. So if you want to learn, stick to the video and watch me how I will do that in order to show you guys. Okay, so uh, that's the app which we'll be using. The app name is Hide Pay, Hide Payment Methods, and I'm going to install that app on my development store. So click on install button. Click on install again. And our app has been installed. So you will see a video when you install that app. There is a, a video which will explain how this is going to work. And I don't need that because I already have seen this video. So I'm going to show you guys how it's going to work. I'm on my development store. So first thing what I'll do is just select any of the package. And I'm going to the one with the 7991. You can see the features which you will be getting. And you have seven day free trial. So you can test it out on your store. If you think it's doable and it's doing some good for your store, then you can opt in for the paid plan. I'm going to select this plan for now, which has all of the features. Perfect. Now I can use the customization power of this app to enable and disable uh, payment methods on my checkout. So for now, that's the development store, which I'm testing. And if I add a product to the card and go to checkout so guys that's my checkout page and these are the payment methods which i have uh, bank deposit cash on delivery credit card so what i'm gonna do i'll remove the bank deposit payment method based on the condition that if someone adds product more than hundred dollar worth it will hide the bank deposit and it will show only if it's less than $100. So it's just an example of one of the condition. You can add multiple types of conditions, for example, based on country. If you want to display specific payment methods on specific countries, you can do that as well. You can do that based on the customer tags as well. So let me show you uh, for the product price for now. So we'll go to this app and we'll click on create customization to create our first customization. We are doing simple customization. We don't have multiple conditions implemented needed for that. So I'm just going to click on simple customization. And as you can see, we have this condition card subtotal and total. So card total, if is greater than 100, then it will activate this condition and it will hide payment methods into the checkout. I have check marked here and I'm going to hide the bank deposit. So let's enable that and now hit save. And now if I go to my checkout and hit refresh. You can see that I don't have bank deposit showing up anymore due to the fact that I have product worth more than $140. Now let's reduce the amount of product in the cart. So I'm just going to remove one of the items from the cart. So now I have $70 in my cart. Now it should show the bank deposit payment method. Now if I go to checkout, 
and scroll down you can see that my bank deposit is showing up so it's it's a really cool feature which you can add into your store and uh, if if you really need it because this feature is not available in shopify built-in functionalities right and now let's test out some other functionalities which this app is offering so let's go to the customize uh, the advanced conditions so i'm going to draft this condition it's safe and going to add the advanced customization so click on create customization button here again and then i'm going to go to advanced customization and here we have you can see the option to add in multiple conditions so if car total is this or we can select tag of the product we can select card currency we can add the condition based on customer country so if you want to enable and disable uh, specific payment methods for specific countries you can do that as well you have the option of customer tag you have the option of customer company so if they add in the field uh, of customer company in the checkout it will hide and uh, rename or sort based on that condition as well customer total spent so if you have a customer which is already a customer buying from your store and they have increased the total amount of spent you can add that condition as well discount condition global discount order discount line item discount so we have lots of different type of conditions available in this app through which we can uh, rename sort or hide payment methods now i'm going to check another advanced condition so if my card total is more than 100 greater than 100 and i'm going to add another condition because i have selected and we have operators so if we select or it will check if any of the condition is working if we have and then it will check multiple conditions that each of the condition has to be true in order to hide or rename the payment gateway which we are setting okay so if the greater is 100 and if the product is the specific product which i'm going to select cart contains it will check if uh, the products inside the cart is any of the one which i have select so i'm going to select the value and it should be this product in the cart okay and uh, we can also set quantity as well so if we want to set the quantity i don't need to set the quantity for now so i'm setting up the condition if the cart is more than 100 of value and if this product is in the cart then i'm going to hide bank deposit again we can sort it as well we can rename it as well so let's test out with hide first then i'm going to rename that as well okay so it's going to hide if we have product worth more than hundred dollar and if that product is this one albany united night grill drop okay now let's hit save oops i forgot to name it hide if this product okay so that's the title of my customization now i'm going to hit save and now let's test it out so i'm going to add this product in the checkout i already have that uh worth 70 dollars and i'm going to increase it for 100 dollars now i have 140 dollar worth of this product now it should not show the bank deposit you can see that the bank deposit it's not showing up and uh, now let's try it with the different product now i'm going to remove this product from the card and test it out with a different product now let's add in this product to the card go to checkout and now if i scroll down you can see that i have bank deposit showing up and even if i increase my card item to two 
and make it more than $100, it's still going to work. Cool. You can see that it's only working when we have this product in the card, which is Albani United Nike Drill Drop product in the card. Only then it's going to hide the bank deposit. We can also rename it. So let's try that. Now this time it will just rename it to Bank of America or whatever you want to name it. And now I have renamed my payment method name. I'm going to hit save. And it will only work when our card total is more than 100 and we have this product in our card. Okay, now let's try that. I'm going to remove this one from the card first and add in the other one. Okay. Let's add in this one and uh, increase the quantity to click on buy now so it can go directly to the checkout and if i now scroll down you can see that bank deposit it's now showing as bank of america cool right so uh, that's the app which you can use to hide relevant pay payment methods and hide short rename payment methods super easily and uh, it's really affordable app if you want to check that out link in the description let me know in the comments below if you wanted to understand more about this app or if i was unable to uh, cover any of the things which you wanted me to cover so until next video have a great day